All right, so here we are uh, experimenting with some PIR sensors, aka pyroelectric infrared motion sensors. I got a five pack of these from Amazon uh, a year ago or so for about eight bucks, which was kind of a good deal. I just couldn't turn it down. So anyway, I have it bolted up to the scope and a uh, five volt power supply, which is just uh, a USB cable broken open and then uh, feeding into the breadboard. So there you can see I have the, the sensor sitting uh, up on this little helping hand uh, doodad. Uh, we got five volts going into the breadboard and then from the breadboard to the sensor. Uh, of course it's grounded. And then that green wire there is uh, just uh, going over to the scope probe. So uh, pretty simple. Um, uh, actually before I test it out, uh, these little trim pots on top control how long uh, the output stays on and how long it's guaranteed to stay off when there's no motion. I haven't really figured out how to use this second one yet, but the first one definitely works. It's uh, at its minimum setting, it's about two seconds uh, on time. So I think that's uh, something I can probably work with in the code. Um, and you don't have to do any debounce or hysteresis in the code to uh, work with it, which is kind of nice. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to wave my hand in front of it, and you can see there's a pulse there on the scope in the background, stayed on for a little over two seconds. And then uh, if I go ahead and just constantly wave my hand in front of it, you can see it's going to stay off for about two seconds before it goes on again, which is kind of nice. So you can kind of just see, I'll, I'll just keep doing this over and over. You can see it stays off even though the motion is still happening. Cool. I tested this thing out at about 10 to 12 feet uh, with my whole body uh, as the test subject and uh, worked out pretty good. There you have it.